little thing happened today that shows the advantages of a bench rig that we set up. This is a computer out of a 03-ish Tahoe. Yeah, 03. And reading it in the computer, in the vehicle, it wouldn't read. We put a lot tune on there and it locks up. A lot of issues um, just going ahead and trying to tune the car. So we were able to get it through. We came back for some tweaks today and like it didn't even try to put it on there. It locked up after 1%. So Dusty uh, made this uh, a year ago or a couple years ago now. And this is for us to be able to read, write, and tune ECUs out of the vehicle. And as you can see, it worked perfectly. I've already tuned this one um, with the changes I made, but I'm reading it now just to confirm everything went on there correctly. But as you can see, it's even reading it in high speed. And to give you an idea what was happening before, even when trying to read the tune off the truck or write the tune off the truck, even in regular um, mode, non-high speed, it would lock up after one, two percent. And as you can see here, you can compare it to what I just pulled off of there to the one I just made. Hopefully this matches, I'm doing it live. And yeah, no, there's no differences. So you can see everything we did stayed on there. I just made some changes today. So we're gonna have to do it the long way. But the thing is with this one is now we can make the change bench mode, disconnect it here. And all you do, you know, this is a, you have power and then key on. So turn them both off. And then you have the hookup from the laptop to this through your normal OBD cable. And we have several adapters for this. We have the E38, the 411, and like the E40, which is a uh, Trailblazers and some mid 2000 ish vehicles. And of course, we have the e E38 um, as well. These have been invaluable to helping us get things done that sometimes we wouldn't be able to do at all because this truck would have been stuck in the water. It's literally stuck in my driveway um, now. So we'll go and, uh, Bring it back, reinstall the computer, hopefully crank it up and log the new tune and hopefully be good to go. I will update once we install it and uh, crank it so I can show uh, what it's doing. I would try to write it again, but I don't want to risk that again just to show on the video. But trust me, you went to write whether you did high speed, normal speed, right entire, right calibration, the timer would actually lock out. So we're thinking... The Tahoe has some kind of wiring issue. I've removed the battery for the HVAC, removed the battery for the radio, um, got a battery charger on it, wrote, wrote in low speed, everything that you would normally do to uh, try to alleviate some of the problems you have when you tune all the different ones. So anyways, it read back perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and um, disconnect this and bring it back to the shop. I mean, bring it back to the house, reinstall it. Luckily, they are easy to get to on this one. Is right here, connected them back up, and it is actually a Yukon SLT. But yeah, you can go ahead and try it now, we're good. You can go ahead and crank it. Good. Perfect. So yeah, the unfortunate times if you have a car that won't tune for whatever reason, make sure that you have a bench rig or get yourself a bench rig so that you can tune through that without having to worry about electrical problems in the truck it saved us hours and hours and a lot of money on this one if we didn't have that set up we would be still out here trying to figure out a way to get a new computer or get this one to take a tune so hope that helps somebody until next time have a good one